What's up, motherfucker? This motherfucker's pissed his pants. in the brother gym. Myself, as usual, co-star. We got Conrad. What's going on guys? It's leg day, bitches. Um, this is the third exercise, I think. Yeah. Yeah? And we, we thought we would start the workout yet again, mid-workout, because at the end of the day, we want to show the sweat, we want to show the veins, we want to show the effort. And it's Bulgarian split squats, single-legged, on the Smith machine. My favorite fucking exercise in the world. Um, it's been a good workout so far. It's a million degrees in this dungeon sweat pit. But we're loving it. So, yeah. Final set on here, single-legged. We're working our way up to... What is it now? How many reps to? How much is that? How many sets? How many... Well, what weight is this? Um, 90, is it? Yeah. I think the thing is, it's 90 kilos, but this Smith machine, yet again, what I'm saying is, it's old school equipment. So, this Smith machine feels like you're going to be squished into the ground immediately with no weight on. So, I don't know how heavy this is, but it's definitely not fucking 90 kilos, it's a lot heavier. Um, but yeah, this morning, woke up. Went to Bali MMA, did some Mai Tai. My man was actually at another gym, a competitor of Bali MMA, Soma. What was you doing, bro? Yeah, I was just doing some boxing. So I do some boxing two or three times a week, on top of everything else, just to get some good, good cardio in. Why'd you do it? Just cardio, conditioning? Cardio, also like a new challenge, trying to learn boxing. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done, to be honest, in terms of technique, being disciplined. Timing. Even just holding your hands up when you're fucked, yeah. it's fucking the hardest thing I've done. So. And I will mention something as well. Yesterday, Max uploaded a photo of me boxing, and some fucking cunt, I hope you're watching, messaged Max saying, haha, just laughing at, for nothing, for no reason, just laughing at me. So then Max has a conversation back and forth with him, just letting him get out what was on his chest, and basically, he was laughing at me because I was a bodybuilder doing boxing. When he doesn't realize I'm a fucking hardcore cunt, I'll probably knock him out and I do CrossFit, all different types of training. That judgmental little boy from one picture thought, haha, look at this guy doing boxing, he's a bodybuilder. Just to give you something for you to take away, majority of the people in the industry and the majority of men are weak as fuck like him on the outside oh yeah it's all a fucking show deep down he has to comment to someone because he feels so goddamn insecure about himself so i know full well about what a comment can do to your fucking mind with my younger brother and what what he went through and why he's not here here today words can hurt don't let anyone get in your head guys ever ever you want to do something go out and do it, especially if it's different types of training. Doesn't matter if you're a fucking beginner. Great, feel uncomfortable, feel like you're a beginner, feel like you're shit, that's good for you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. So anyway. true, bro. Like, you just gotta focus on yourself, I think. That's the biggest thing. Um, don't let anyone else 
tell you you can't do anything or tell you you can't do this or that. You just gotta believe in yourself, whatever goal you have, just keep working every day to it because one day you'll get there. I think that's important just for everyone just to realise. Yeah, like. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're carrying on with Demon Time, finish this workout and get this blasted off. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the workout, guys. Old school vibes, yet again. going for eight we got 15 but we did have a couple of minutes extra rest so oh, glad that's done you see pissing everywhere mate come on come on come on come on come on Come on! Yes! Fucking punch! Let's go, bro! Let's go! Come on, dude! Take it in time! Take it in time! Come on, bro! Come on! Let's go! Come on! Make that four fucking wet through! Come on! Come on, pissy pants! Come on! Come on, piss those pants! Shit them soon, bro! Shit them! Come on, shit them. Shit those pants. Come on, one more. Good work, good work. Woo! Big daddy style. Have you done any injury stuff, bro? Like, hey? Have you done any... Yeah, I don't know yet, mate. Come on, you know that. Come on, do more, do more. Oh. Do more. It's not even a fucking hammy, it's just a wrist. I'm done, mate. I'm done. 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 I'm yeah, it's usually a lot heavier, usually double. But yeah, that's today's session complete, guys. We're back for another fucking real emotion talk episode of me holding up my arms to what the almighty 
God or the, the Almighty, whoever the fuck you are, brother, guiding me through this world. Because aren't we all lost anyway? Hehehe. <laughs> this is my pre workout at the moment. I'm not affiliated with any company because <laughs> I make my own shit. But I'm on this, this stuff at the moment, this, this pumped up apocalypse, booked up. And it's, that's a non stim, guys. It's a non stim. I have done too many stims in my fucking life. And I'm not talking about caffeine, I'm talking about recreational things. Too many stimulants for my life that now I'm on this different fucking health journey because I used to abuse, abuse drugs, especially in my younger years because I was a, you know what? I was a fucking pussy. I was a pussy. God, I couldn't deal with life. And accepting things and dealing with life's pressures, pressures through not abusing drugs. But anyway, I'm not judging myself because I've had a fucking rock and roll coaster ride at that. Been to some of the best parties in the world and done some of the most craziest shit and sniff pink things like that up my nose for days. But now I'm on this different health journey and I'm getting my bloods done in the next week and I'm working with um, a guy who's a great absolute specimen who I met in the sauna. Who's gonna be doing my blood work and he's gonna be helping me out and discovering if there is, there are any potential areas I can enhance my body in any different ways or any deficiencies. And I'm being completely honest with him about what I've taken, what I'm taking, etc., etc., yada, 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 yada. But I'm going to do a full blood work panel with you guys. And I'm going to show you exactly what everything looks like from a specialist who actually gives a fuck. I let him into my villa the other day at the weekend and we had a chat. And the passion that that guy has for helping people because he's been through his own health journey is next to none, next to fucking none. Amazing guy. And he's gonna be helping me out and checking up on everything that's going on because over the past however many years to get where I am today, right now, I have abused my body, abused it. I've been out on parties for fucking 24 hours and I'll get back, zero sleep, straight into work. Everyone's like, George, why aren't you sleeping, bro? I'm like, I got work to do, brother. I ain't sleeping. I'm like pushing, then I'll go and train. I've had no sleep. I've been partying on fucking numerous different drugs to deal with whatever I was dealing with. If I can fucking build what I've built doing what I've done to myself, <laughs> I think a lot of you guys should have the confidence in doing it yourself. Let's just say that. Anyway, I'm getting my bloods done. I'm getting tested out properly. I do not ever, one sec, we're going off in a fucking tantrum. These things here, they're just like electrolyte salts. <laughs> Shit. I've already put two in. This is the third one. Because I swear, bitch. And I'm going into the gym today, and I'm gonna be sweating a lot, so I'm adding extra salt. I need as much salt as I can possibly get because I'm gonna be Mr. Pissy Pants in the next hour or two or three, however long it takes for me to calm down. But I struggle fucking every day, guys. And that's, that's why I wanted to fucking get this video up here right now and talk to you. I don't want you ever to fucking feel sorry for me. I'm not no victim. No, no, no made fucking notes here right now because things are always going through my fucking head. Things are always going through my fucking head because I care so deeply about helping people that I would never, ever, ever 
want you to feel sorry for me, for what I've been through and what I talk about by any means necessary because I've used it as fuel. I've used it as a way to move forward and not backwards in a positive way, even though it's nearly fucking killed me along the ride several times. And I wouldn't wish my journey on anyone because I shouldn't fucking be here right now. I really shouldn't. But I really, truly never want any of you to think that this comes from a place of wanting you to feel sorry for good old George about losing his brother or anything that I tell you about. This is about helping you understand me of what I've gone through because I've been through some shit that makes me more have a grounded approach on life because I've fucking been at the bottom of the fucking gutter and I've felt the desperation. So never do I want you guys to feel sorry for me at all. And you shouldn't feel sorry for yourself. You've got to use that pain, whatever you've been through, and change it up and have fuel and drive you forward. It's as simple as that. Otherwise, you will fucking hate yourself. If I don't use what I've learned, if I don't get up in the morning and take action, I fucking hate myself. It's not about me, it's about my team. I'm letting my team down. I'm letting my family down. You're gonna think about others. That's what motivates me. I don't give a fuck about myself. That's the problem I'm facing right now. That I didn't care about myself for so many years. All my life, it was all about helping my brother. That now I'm facing this thing about actually trying to get blood work done and see what's going on and looking after myself because that shit fucked me up. And we all a little bit fucked, baby. Well, I'm the motherfucking real deal. So I know that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've shaked this cup about a million times. It's a fucking skull. Look at how sick that is. Come on. Anyway, that's enough for today. There's got to be a yin to the yang. And that's what I've learned a hell of a lot recently. In business and in life. Reese, my best mate, he's the complete opposite to me. I'm super hard, intense, 100 mile an hour. He's the surfer guy, relaxed, tattooed, chillest guy ever and living with him has helped me a lot to be more light-hearted and to, to be more relaxed in certain aspects of life and to just go with the flow and especially in business like I'm a visionary and I've got so many fucking ideas so many ideas I could have a hundred ideas, but only two could be decent. But I've got my brother, Harry Armstrong, who I am very inspired by, who has been the anchor that I've needed to help build the business to where it is today. And he's my older brother. He did a race at the weekend and won a nighttime race, 10K, up in the hills, in the dark, with head torches. Just head torches. So you've been, he, he basically won the race out of 500 people. And I was like, wow, Harry, you're a fucking beast, mate. Like, I, I'm inspired by him. I don't know how he's inspired by me. 
but he's the yin to the yang. He's the operations, he's the systems. He holds things together that I couldn't hold together. He gets certain tasks done that my brain capacity couldn't sit there and do it. So where we are right now are the 30 coaches and I'll be looking back thinking, fuck, in another year's time, we'll have more and more and more and more and more and more success. But I'm just, I've just been reflecting a lot recently and especially the books I read and the self-development I do. You need to build the team and to find the right people to succeed around you. And it's the yin to the yang, man. I, we couldn't have two crazy bulls like me. We couldn't. It wouldn't work. Harry's more strategic. And it's, uh, I'm just blessed. I'm blessed beyond belief. And I was just thinking about how grateful I am to have an older brother like that. And we've been through a hell of a lot, me and him, together. And I was speaking to him on the phone before. And I'm a lot more open in terms of, I'll say like, I love you, bro. And I hope he's watching this video. Um, he's not as open in terms of that. I'll say like, I love you, bro, on the phone, as soon as I put it down, before I put it down. Um, but I know he loves me just as much as I love him, but he just doesn't express it in the same way. And that was something that I was dealing with deep with the loss of my younger brother. I expressed my love openly, but he never was able to open up and talk about his emotions because he was, that was the last thing he wanted to do, talk about any emotions or feelings. Um, it's just a lot of gratitude, a lot of feelings. Um, recently I've been opening up a lot and um, yeah, I just came up here before just about to jump in the ice bath and um, just being fucking grateful, man, for the life I've got. That's what it's all about. beating the shit out of me when I was younger all the time. I'm the bigger brother, he knows that. I'm taller, I'm thicker, so he used to hate that. Especially when I was getting taller, I was getting bigger, I was getting stronger, so he had to put me in my place and he used to try and beat the shit out of me. And me and him used to argue and fight every single day. Like we, every single day, without fail. There was points where there was, there was kitchen knives involved. Like knives, like seriously, me and him having knives out, fighting each other. Trying to get in the bathroom, just kick the bathroom door down. I'm holding the bathroom door, like trying to not let it break or let him come in. And then other times it might be me trying to get him. I remember one time he fucking, he smashed my head straight into the washing machine and like knead it into the washing machine. I was just like, what the fuck? This guy's a psychopath. But you know what? Thank you so much, Harry, because you created a beast. And that's, that's the brotherhood sometimes. Being a brother and having competition, it gives you that edge. And that's one of the main reasons to why I'm successful today because I love competition that's my fucking it's a breeding ground for me that's where the real dog comes out and me and harry 
being so competitive, being so close in terms of ages, okay, just, just over a year apart, that's why we're so successful, guys, and that's why we fucking kill it in the gym and we look the way we do, because it's built in us through the brotherhood. But the respect we have for each other now, no motherfuckers are gonna come between me and him. You know what I mean? I die for my brother. And that's what we're missing these days. We say, oh yeah, you're my brother. And I'm like, you don't know what a fucking brother is, dude. You won't, you won't do the shit I would do to help my brother out. Not come close, mate. And that's what we're building here at Physique Academy. That's the team, that's the brotherhood. Um, because I know what it's like living up, living with two brothers, living with an older brother who's trying to beat the fuck out of you, and then living with a, a younger brother who's so depressed he can't get out of bed for three years, and the blinds are shut. That's why I am the way I am, guys. I've been built through the brotherhood. So, yeah, thank you, Harry. You piece of shit. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Seriously, I honor you in so many different ways and I admire you truly for who you are as a person with your family, your new baby girl, Romy, which I adore more than anything. I'm just so happy that we fucking made it out. So yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, give you some love, bro, because you deserve it, mate. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for you. So remember that, dude. I don't know how I express it in a different way to you, and you're a little bit quieter, but I know you love me deep down, and you probably still want to beat the fuck out of me.